Okay, so on today's call, Deb, what we're going to do is we're going to run a Facebook engagement ad. So let's scroll down. Let's look at that post one last time. And the reason, the reason why all that editing was so important to get done now prior to us running the ad, because now as we actually open up another tab and go into the ads manager, we can no longer edit this. So right. as you post, you want to, and, and if you're going to use that post as an actual ad, all the editing happens now. And it would have been the same with the video ad. So you'd make sure that, that everything, the text, the, 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 on a video, the thumbnail, the video title, if it was a video, all of that happens now. Um, so now that we did all that, we did all the editing and the text, make sure there's no misspelled words, because again, we're not going to be able to edit that after we, we, we move on right here. So all that's okay. perfect. Hook story offer, the call to action, please click share and tag all your friends. The text looks great. So now we open up a new tab and we're going to go into the ads manager. And so we'll run this as engagement and just get a bunch of people in that area seeing Do you this. want me to open a new tab? Yeah. So we'll just open up a new tab. And let's just go to our favorites and we'll go to ads manager. So we should have the folder. Are you, are you on the same computer or are you in a different browser? I must be in a different browser, but I didn't know that. Okay, no worries. Go back to the Facebook tab. Then we can use that Facebook tab. Let's just go to the Facebook tab and then we'll just click on the, actually to the left right here, ads manager. We'll go to ads manager from here. Perfect. And then as we go into the ads manager, again, you have, you have two different accounts. You got Christian Daniels, and then you have the, N, the My NCCU. So as we go in, sometimes by default, Facebook will have you in the Christian Daniels ads manager. So we always want to double check that first. And you, okay. you can always see by just the ads that you'll start to see right here. But if you don't see any ads, then that's my point. See, that's my point. So as we- Yeah, that's here, Christian Daniels. Yep, we're in the Christian Daniels. So what we want to do is just hit the drop down in the top. Christian Daniels, hit that drop down. Top left. No, not there. The drop down. Christian Daniels. I'm so sorry. I'm not seeing it. Christian Daniels to the left. The 15542. You have that Christian. Where am I not Daniels. looking? Oh, thank you. At the very, yes. yes. Now I this see This is it. your drop sorry. down. So see more ad accounts, and then you'll see the other one. That's where we want to be running everything out of. And that's your business manager. That's your business account. So everything okay. runs from here. So what we'll do is we'll click the green button and set up the ad. Okay. So there's the active video view one. So that one's, that one's still going and that will probably be, I don't know when that shuts off. You can see it to the very right where it ends. So if you move the bar, the cursor to the right, you see um, ends right there. So yeah, if you move it over, you'll see when it ends. Tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to click the green button, create, and we start. And these are my the, three sections. I remember that. Tabs. Yep. And that's what we set up. So as we click the green button, that's what we set up, those three tabs. So okay. the first one is campaign. So again, Facebook, as I mentioned earlier, the, the key word that I mentioned a few minutes ago was specific. Every single objective is specific. So what we have is, is, is video views going. That's why we have almost a thousand views on that other one. In this one, with, in this case, with this, this current one, we're going to go engagement. So we want engagement. We want to just get as much attention to that and, and, and as much engagement to the post as possible. So you're going to click on engagement. Yeah, click on done. And then just click on engagement to the right. Oh, what's happening? Okay, okay. so again, whatever you choose there is what you get. So... That's why a lot of times when I when I'm speaking to clients that are looking to to capture a lead, for example, or get someone to schedule an appointment with them, or even get someone to or 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 try to make a sell, they'll put out an ad, they'll put out a video, and again, their objective is to capture a lead, get an appointment, or make a sell. They put out a video and then they come here and run video views. Because logically okay. thinking, if we can get thousands of people to view it, maybe someone will buy our stuff or maybe someone will click and opt in and give up their information, but they're running video views. And so, so last night, how I was on Facebook and clicked and bought a flag that I really don't need, but it was adorable that okay. they were so, on catalog sales, right? Okay. So, so here's my point. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. It's very specific. So they could have been, they could have been either on catalog sales or they could have been on conversions, which, which nine out of 10 times it's conversions. If someone okay. is selling a physical product or even, even selling services, nine out of 10 times is always conversions. 
So when I want to start my midlife ministry, it would be conversions because I want them to join that group. Yes, you want them to join something. So if you're trying to get someone to 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 form a specific or to 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 do a specific action, then nine action. times it's conversions. Okay. Yeah. Now engagement, that's action too. Someone clicking like, someone commenting, that is action. But but the the real objective is to get them to to do to to do something else, which is normally jump into our world. So you're either jumping into my world by clicking on something and entering your name and email, or you're clicking on something and buying a flag. That's really jumping into my world. That's conversions. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we're going to go engagement and then we're going to go post engagement. And then what we can do is we can, let's get in the habit of naming, of titling, because the background, the campaigns, ad set, ads, the three tabs in the background, that's what we title right here. So let's get in the habit of titling everything right here. And it's just giving it a brief description of what, of what that is. So the campaign is going to be free coffee, free coffee, free coffee for healthcare or whatever. Or sure. You don't need it to be too, too long, but free coffee for, for St. Luke's and then um, go ahead and put image ad. So that's, that's enough. Free coffee for St. Luke's image hey. ad dash dash image ad dash image ad and then in parentheses engagement and the reason why naming it descriptive being as descriptive and short as as you can be but being very descriptive is so you can start so it allows you to when you look at the dashboard like without this the background you can just look at the title and know what ad that is that's, okay. that's why titling it is so important because if you don't title it and you don't know what ad that is, you're going to have to click on it, go into the actual ad to see what, what which one it was. And that's too time consuming. I want to be able to just glance on this dashboard, see that title and know exactly what ad that is. And that's okay. pretty descriptive, right? That's pretty descriptive. Free coffee for St. Luke's image ad engagement. Yeah. Engagement. So yep. In the ad set, as we click on the middle tab, the ad set tab, you no, know, you can leave that drop down there, leave that there. The title, all we're doing is a title here. So in the title, you could put maybe the town that you're that you're targeting, not free. Oh. The ad set is where we now choose the demographics, the, the the location we're targeting, and even our budget. So here, brief description, you could put Treasure Valley and then five bucks a day or 10 bucks a day or whatever the budget. I don't want to spend, I'll spend $20 over the weekend. That's 10 okay. a day. Okay, perfect. So do that then. So Treasure Valley and then and then let's do in parentheses. $10 a day. Perfect. Perfect. And then the ad could be, can be just red image, coffee image, or red, or, or red, red coffee image or whatever. It could just be a brief description of, of the actual image, like red. Right here. Yeah. On the third one. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And then that, that carries over as we click continue. And now that'd be the title of each section of each tab. So now we'll come in and over here, what you're going to always, always, always do 100% of the time, if you don't do this part, then none of the, none of the other stuff works at all. So okay. because you guys are a credit union, you're always going to go special ad category and hit the drop down, and you're going to go down a credit. Always. If you don't do that, that ad will get rejected. Okay. So you always have to go credit. Okay. So um, click away, and that's it for that. So next, that's step one. That's the campaign level choosing our objective, titling everything, and going credit. That's step one. That's it. Hit next. Hey, okay, what's so the A-B test? Just don't curious. Even, you don't got to worry about that right now. That's okay, just not so, even yeah, that's, that's, allowing, that's, allowing, that, that's when you don't use just one image. You use five. Okay. And, and, and Facebook simply sorts through, as the ad is running, they'll sort through automatically all five images to find the one that works. That's Why did it change it to eleven dollars a day? It doesn't really matter, but no, because well, it's all because of the date. So all you got to do is just go ahead and put put ten bucks daily budget. Go ahead and put in ten, and then what you can do is you can. I mean, since it is this weekend, to tell you the truth, what I would since it is Friday, what I would do is I would probably start it this this afternoon. I'd probably start yeah. it tonight. today. Yeah, yeah, I would start it tonight. Like I would start it like maybe at. What can we just start it right now? You have to give Facebook time to review it. So you don't, oh, okay. you don't want to start it right right now. You want to give it some hours. So if it's if it's if it's one o'clock your time, I would set it to go live at 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 six p.m. Let's give Facebook some time to review it, and then it'll go live at at six p.m. 
So go ahead and, and, and change out that. So October 1st, so go ahead and Tragic. click on the 12 and, and just change that. Do I have to write zero six maybe? There we go. Well, six is fine, yeah. Why is it not changing? I guess I type it in. Okay, and then let's and put it in. I want an end date. Yeah, and, and when you end it, it's always the same time as well. So go ahead and, and put whatever date, Sunday, and then go 6 p.m. So you always want to match that. Okay. Okay, so it, so the money is spent evenly. You, you It wouldn't spend evenly if that was a different time. Got it. Okay, cool. So so we're good there. So we'll scroll down. Um, now what we'll do, um, you don't need any custom audiences. We'll edit the location. So United States, let's take okay. that out. And let's just well, one second. Gender demographics. Where do you see United States? Above. So if you scroll, if you look up, there's. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So we'll edit, edit that, and then go ahead and just type in Treasure Valley or Nampa, whatever you want to. Yeah, I'll type in Treasure Valley. Yeah, X out the United States first. X that one out to the very right. So whatever you choose here, again, because it's local it. and everything is local targeting. You always want to stick to that one. So people living in this location, for sure. People living, yeah. in, no, not. Search location. Is it, do you want to go recently? Because there is a difference. Oh, I want them now. No, but you the drop down at the top. People living in or recently in versus. No, I want them current. living in this location. Yeah, there is a difference. So make sure you always go okay. with that one. People living in this location, and whatever town you're you're choosing, make sure you do that every time. Oh, so it won't call the Treasure Valley. So I'm going to put Nampa and then we'll just make it 20 miles out. Yes. And so stick with that. That's your targeting. Don't, don't, don't go out of that. That's your targeting. So Nampa and then 20 miles and, and, and always stick with that. All right. Okay, 25 perfect. miles. That's fine. Okay. okay. So. So, okay, so here's what I want you to do also. In the title at the top, let's go back up to the title. Let's also add that in the title. So we got Treasure Valley. In fact, let's take that out. It's Napa. It's not Treasure. It's Napa. Um, so we're going to go Napa, and then we're going to go um, We're gonna go 25. So Napa Valley, 25, 25 miles. So, again, it's very descriptive. It's being able to look at the title and know, know exactly what ad this is. Okay, and our targeting. Very important. So, okay, we're good there. Napa, 25 miles. Perfect. And then we'll scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We don't need any of that. We're good there. We're good there. Um, we'll leave all that as is. We won't even put in any keywords because it's, it's already a, a small, a, I mean, 25 miles is, is far, but at the same time, it's not. Like, it's just a right. map. So I wouldn't even put any keywords. We're going to leave all that right. wide open and just target the entire area. And then we'll just go, we'll go automatic placement. We'll leave it on, on automatic and then we'll scroll down okay. and that's it. That's, that's all for step two. We'll hit next. And that's step two. The, that, and that's what we call the ad set level. That's, that's, that's it, actually what Facebook calls the ad set level, set level. where you're okay. choosing the targeting and the budget um, on that second level. Now on the third and final step, this is where we simply grab the post that we already put on the page. Okay. And there's two ways as I'm taking you through this, I'm also trying to teach you different, different options and strategies and reasonings behind why we, why I do what we do the way we we're doing it. There's two ways to run an ad. And I, I think I might've touched on this before, but I'm going to touch on it again, since we're at this spot, two ways a person can run an ad. One way is to post it on the business page first and then come over here and run that as an ad. That's option right. one. That's what I did. That's right. what we're doing today. Yes. Yeah. Option two is when you don't put it on the business page, you simply come here and set up the ad. So, so the image would be in our download folder, right? We, we, we click on ad setup and we would just create the ad from here. We'd grab the image from our download folder. We would write all the text out here and that's option two. So, so, so sorry, what am I, what am I in again? Business manager? Yeah. We're no, the ad. Manager. Yeah. We're in the ads yeah. manager, ads manager, we're in the ads manager. But, but, but what I'm saying is those are your two options. And, okay. and so do you know, do you know the difference or do you know why? Why, what is the difference? What, I mean, I know I could visually see the difference, but why would I do one over the other? Very good question. And don't worry about trying to take 
notes on this. I'm recording all this for you. So the reason for it is because with option one, by putting it on the business page first, when this ad ends in a few days, in a couple of days, that post remains on the business page with all that engagement showing all the likes, all the comments, all the shares. Oh, so I really liked it that way. Yeah. It's it's what we call social proof. So now when people in the future come to your page, they see a post with all this engagement. It's there forever. That's why I do it that way. That's option one versus option two. If we don't put it on the business page and we just do it here behind the scenes, the moment that ad turns off, it's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I, I definitely always want to do one. Option one is more for yeah, me. Yeah, you'll post always it post go. it on the business page first. Yes. Yeah. And then and then come over here. So now that it's on the business page, now it's there. Go ahead and click on add setup. You got use existing post. That's fine. And then now we're going to go select post. So right below, add creative, select post. You're going to click on select post right down, down Hold below. On, sorry, down, I'm down, looking. Down, down. Select post. Okay. And I would, cause yeah. I keep noticing the review error. Did you see that? Um, yeah, you're well, it's because we're not, we're not finished with it. So go ahead and oh, go ahead and choose okay. the actual post and then you'll, that, that will, yeah, that will okay. be gone. So let's, let's let your computer, I think it might've been like, it's not fully loaded just yet. So when you don't, when you don't go back to the Facebook page, go back to that where you copied it. So when you don't see it pull from there, then you can always, whether it's a video or an image, you always click on it. And that number is right at the top. It's, it's either one of those. That's why you always want to test both of them, but we got it right on the first one. It could have been the other set, but what would the other set be? What is this? I don't, I don't even know. I don't mean, just one of them is the image though. One of them is the image. Yeah. So you'll just copy that, bring it over here, paste it in, hit enter, and you'll see it right there. So now click on it. Okay. And then hit continue. Okay. Continue. Okay. Perfect. So now all that pulls over here and now, um, now, 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 now we're good to go. So go back up real quick. Let's, let's see if we can connect the Instagram. Um, go back up, up, scroll up. No, right here, right here in the middle of the page. You want to go above add setup, scroll up on this page right here. Yeah, right here. Scroll up. Sorry. Right here. So you select a page. So the Instagram account, go ahead and um, actually, you know what? The Instagram account, I think it's still, I think it's still connected to that older page. So yeah, so the IG won't won't even worry about that right now. We'll have to fix that eventually. But scroll down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if there is a call to action button, which is right there, the add button. So go ahead and click on that add button. And since we don't have any page that we're going to send people to, hit the drop down for learn more. And then let's just simply go with a different option. So we got get quotes, send message, shop now. Anything else? Can you scroll down? Is I wanted other... to share it. No, there, that's going to happen no matter what. It's because that's you... the only options we have. Yeah. So just go ahead and put send message. That's fine. Send message. Okay. okay. Update post. Okay, perfect. So now um, as the post updates, you'll now see that little call to action button, send message. Okay. And then you scroll down. Um, every but what's the send message? What are they? That's just to message me? Yeah, that's just to message you. So okay. um, yes, yeah, so that's fine. So scroll down. Everything else is, is, is good to go um, offline. Okay. Then there's no website. Okay, cool. Publish. And that's it. So now as you publish it, you want me to hit it or no? Yeah, green. Hit the green one. Publish. So now, as you publish it, the ad goes into review, and then you'll get an email. Hopefully, in a couple hours. Hopefully, before six p.m. Sometimes it could take longer. That's why I always set the ad to go live the next day. Always set the ad to go live the next day. But in this case, we're already at Friday, and it's it needs to run. It needs to run. Yeah. You know, well, we could have done six a.m. I guess till Monday, six a.m. Yeah, that, 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 that would have been a better option, but yeah, I didn't um, think of that till right now. So too late, but it's okay. Yeah. So it's not too late, but, but that's fine. We'll, we'll leave it as is. Um, Hopefully it it approves before 6 PM. And if it doesn't, no big deal. It just carries into, let's say it doesn't approve until, until 9 PM. So if it approves at 9 PM and then it ends up going live at 9 PM, but we set our budget for 6 PM, then the dollar amount just gets thrown off. It doesn't spend okay. evenly 
right? Because now we're three three hours in. You don't lose that money, but it just doesn't spend evenly over the over the over the duration. So okay. that's why you always want to give it plenty of time. So that's fine. That's fine. We're we're fine in this case. So here's what happens now. This again, we're seeing it again. It gets stuck. The bottom blue. It gets oh, that's stuck right. Publishing one of three, and so. I'm starting to see that time and time again. All you do is just open up a new tab. So go to one of the tabs at the, tab at the top, the new tab. Go to your ads manager or just go back to Facebook to the top, to the very, very left. I want to figure out why that's not right, though. How could I do that? Or that'll mess everything up. It's not so even, yeah, it's not even your end. It's Facebook. Go, just go to the, go to, go to one of your, go to your Facebook tab at the top left. Facebook. Yeah. Click there. Click there. And then just X out of this. Go to the home. Click on the little home at the top little icon, go to your news feed, and then just click on ads manager over there. And then we'll just clear it up over here. So click on ads manager. And then we'll just, as we come into the ads manager, we'll just make sure we're in the right account. We'll hit the drop down in the top left and, and make sure that's the right account. And then we'll just publish it from over here. So right here, yep, it sends you to the Christian Daniels one. So that's fine. So just hit the drop down, Christian Daniels, the drop down, no, Drop down. Oh, yeah, drop down. Thank you. I, I'll get it. And then go to see more ad accounts and just go to that other account. And that's why the bookmarks are so, so important because right. it allows you to get there quick. So over here, now you'll just see the blue button in the top right. As this page opens up, That there'll be a blue button in the top right, which says review. I think it says review. And then it'll have the number three. In it and so all you'll do is click on that and then yeah review and publish click on that and then just click on the green publish and that that should push it through okay so as this loads you'll see a green so every time facebook sends you the boost your post now that's kind of a waste of money yeah don't don't boost post um, only because it doesn't give you, yeah, so we're going to hit the green one. It doesn't allow you to set up each three, all the three tabs, just like we did. And each yeah. tab is very important. If you boost post, for example, you end up bypassing the, the, the first campaigns, the first step, which, which, what, what do we do in the campaign? We, because it's a credit union have to click on special ad category, hit the drop down, go down to credit. Right. So it's very important for me to do that. If I don't do that, that ad's going to get rejected. When you go and boost a post, you don't see that option. Yeah. So you end up boosting the post, and a few hours later, you get an email saying, Hey, your ad's been rejected. So, yeah. okay. so you always want to run it here and, and never boost the post. Um, so now that now that's in 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 review, you'll you'll be in review for a few hours and then you'll get an email from Facebook saying your ad is scheduled or running. And that's, and that's that. Okay. So, so now we'll um, go back and take a screenshot of that other page. If it's yes, not yes, on. Yes. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to any questions on this, on this engagement ad. Nope. I think I'm good. Awesome.